Okay, so we're looking at the internal anatomy here of the heart. Uh, we'll follow it just like we follow uh, blood flow through the heart. So that begins here in the right atrium. Okay, so in the right atrium, we've got the fresh blood from the body coming in, uh, typically unoxygenated. Uh, you can see the fossa ovalis here. It's a remnant from when you were in utero. Uh, now it's just kind of an indention there in the right atrium. Uh, the atrial themselves uh, are made up of this particular type of muscle called the pectinate muscles. Uh, they help constrict the arteries, or the atrial, sorry. Uh, the atrium, so we have uh, the left and right atrial here. They're separated <clears throat> by the interatrial septum. So that's kind of the separation between the two atrium themselves. Okay, so now we'll flow downward through this valve. This is our tricuspid valve here. Okay, We can see the tricuspid valve uh, has these kind of tendricle connection points there. Uh, chordae tenendae. Chordae tenendae. Okay, these connect to papillary muscles here, which help open and close the valve. So now we're inside of my right ventricle. Uh, so just like uh, the pectinate muscles here in the atrium, the ventricles also have their own, uh, the trabeculae carnae. Okay. So then blood will flow from here up my pulmonary semilunar valve, the pulmonary vein, or pulmonary arteries, coming in through my pulmonary veins into my uh, left atrium, down through the mitral or bicuspid valve. So we can still see those same similarities, uh, papillae muscles, etc. Uh, and eventually, out of the left ventricle, coming up through my aortic semilunar valve, which is here, and again, out the aorta.